Hello everyone, welcome to another Into the Void Real Review. Today we are reviewing the latest entry in the Evil Dead franchise. Evil Dead Rise comes out 10 years after 2013's Evil Dead movie that rebooted the franchise back then. I didn't happen to watch that movie, so I can't begin to compare the two. I've watched Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. Evil Dead 2, I really enjoyed it for its exquisite cross between campiness and horror. Army of Darkness, I know, has a big cult following. However, it just didn't land with me for some reason. It was just too silly. Maybe a rewatch will change my mind, but I have to say I really didn't like it at all. Now, Evil Dead Rise is a new hotness, and I have to say I was pleasantly surprised with how much I enjoyed it. Let's first get things out of the way. This movie isn't for the squeamish. I'm getting... There's lots of blood and eyeball gore to go around, and if you don't like that, then this movie may not be for you. There are lots of people speaking down to people in demonic voices, which I think or thought was funny. Mom? Mommy's with the maggots now. Not in a funny bad way, but in a funny way that adds to the lack of respect for humans the demon or demons show as they create a bloodbath in their wake. This demon came to <laughs> up. It gives the movie the hard edge it needs to stand out among other horror films. I like that the movie didn't pull any punches. Anybody could die, including children. I couldn't help thinking that this is what the Resident Evil movies need to take them to another level. And I guess that came to mind because I'm currently playing Resident Evil 4 Remake and that game has a campiness plus hard edge that needs to be translated to the big screen. Ah! Ah, no! 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 Oh my goodness. I should have shot him. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> Bingo. They should take a page from the book of the Evil Dead Rise movie. Can you imagine Leon asking a Las Plagas infected villager, where's Ashley? And getting a reply, Ashley's with the maggots now. Shout out to Ashley Sutherland who plays the possessed mom. Without her performance, the movie isn't as gruesome. She, in my opinion, carries the film. She's not iconic like Bruce Campbell, but come on, who is? It's still a great performance that is more the price of admission to go see the film. The other actors are good, but they aren't the glue that holds this film together. So overall, this is a film I would recommend you go see. It's one of the better ones out there. It is tense and taunted with suspense and does a better job of keeping that throughout the movie than last year's Barbarian, which is a good film as well. It gets an 8 out of 10 from me. Take your children to go see it and tell them, Now do you think I'm a bad parent? Just kidding. Don't do that unless you want to pay for the therapy bills. See you again when we venture into the void.